Hey guys, Tim here, Big Dog Forge. Welcome back. It's good to see you in the shop again. It's been a while. So uh, today, we're going to have a little fun with some old screwdrivers. Stick with me. Should be fun. All right, guys. This is known as the perfect handled screwdriver, is what they were sold as in the uh, back in the day. These were uh, a screwdriver that was made before the Phillips tip screwdriver came out in the early 1930s. And there were millions of them made, and you can find them just about every swap meet, yard sale. And the reason we're doing this is a uh, request from a young subscriber who is just starting to sell things at uh, street fairs, things like that. And wanted to know if there was something recyclable that could be used to fill up a table, the empty spots on a table, something quick and easy. So that's what we're doing today. Some quick and easy stuff that if you're selling at a street fair, you can uh, make a little money out of it. And uh, these things are pretty cool. The way they were built, they were designed so you could hit them with a hammer and not break the handle. And the handle was designed to be as comfortable as possible. Thus, the perfect handled screwdriver. And what we're going to do with this thing is we're going to forge out a blade because we have a bunch of mail that we need to open. You guys have probably heard the story. The post office put my mail in a abandoned P.O. box and left it there for some of this stuff dates back over a year. And uh, I finally located it and they gave it to me so we're going to open that and i need a letter opener so that's what we're going to do a little demonstration on something you can build it's super easy out of one of these old screwdrivers and uh if you keep one of the original screwdrivers on the table so that uh, folks can see what they came from and you have a little bit of story with them they sell a little bit better and you can literally, you know, a dollar or two that you spent on these screwdrivers, a lot of these items will sell for 15 to 25 dollars. So you can make some pretty good money uh, recycling these things, a little forging on them, turn them into all sorts of things. And the steel in them is, is really good steel. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it quenches well in oil. And it tempers really well. And do a little fiddly work around that, oh, what do you call it, Ricasso area, I guess. There we go. We got our basic shape. Didn't take long to forge that out. Quench it in some peanut oil. And we're going to temper it back with a torch here. And we quench that off again, and we're going to draw the handle back even further. It's got a little bit of a wow in it, so we're going to straighten that up a little bit. And that's the thing about doing this with a gas forge. You tend to heat up the handle quite a bit, and you can bend them all out of shape, but they usually come back pretty well. All right, we're going to put a little clip point on this thing and uh, sharpen it up we're not going to go too crazy with the sharpening on this thing it's just a letter opener for the shop here but uh, we'll give it an edge good enough to cut some paper anyway and like I said if you're trying to fill up a table these little tools that you can build out of these screwdrivers and different things that you can build out of them. I built uh, carving knives and oyster knives and ulus and all sorts of stuff out of these things. I'll pop the handle back on. Now this one had brass pins in it that we were able to drill out. Some of them have steel pins and they're a little more difficult to get out. You can see I chipped some of the wood away on this one but we'll drive some brass pins back in it and then we'll uh, dress it up. So I'm just sanding off some of the old surface 
and uh, that's so that I can put some uh, wipe on polyurethane on it and it'll soak in a little bit and protect it a little give it a little bit more of a, a shine but still preserve that sort of antique look and I ended up with a little crack in one of the scales the pins I drove in were a little big but uh, wasn't anything a little bit of two-part epoxy wouldn't take care of there real quick and yeah, we take the heads of these pens down we'll uh, sand it up again Just make sure everything uh, looks nice and even the good thing about these wood handles is is that they're pretty much self-aligning the way they're ground the way they're shaped All right, a little bit of polyurethane. Just wipe on stuff, wipe it on, let it set. Do that with a couple of coats, and uh, it gives it a nice look. And folks really like that. It looks very much antique-y, and it is an antique. And you've just turned it into a, a more useful tool. People find these, they typically don't use them as uh, the screwdriver they were intended there we go it'll open a letter all right guys so there you go built myself a letter opener we got a ton of mail to open and uh that'll be in an upcoming video next video anyway um i don't think we're done with this we got more of these screwdrivers let's build one more thing all right let's get to it okay a little bit bigger screwdriver um he's a probably the same manufacturer the other driver didn't have as many numbers on it, but this one apparently is a number 60. And uh, we're going to go after it with a power hammer. So just to uh, draw this down a little bit. And we really don't want to lengthen it much. We just want it nice and flat for what we're going to do. And the scrappy made pretty quick work of that. And we went ahead and just left the screwdriver tip right on this thing it'll kind of disappear but what we're going to build this time is an ulu and uh we'll build this and let the wife play with it see how well it works and really all we're doing is uh at this point hammering some bevels into this thing i'm not going to hammer it too thin i want some uh beef to that blade and like i said the steel is pretty good you got to temper it back a little bit Otherwise, it is a little bit brittle. It acts very much like 1095. All right, we'll bend it around a little mandrel here in the vise. There we go. And we'll straighten out that handle and align it with the blade. And like I said, these things quench really well in oil. So we're gonna give it a A little bit of a quench in uh, peanut oil. There we go. Came out really well. No warps in the blade or any good stuff like that. And we're just gonna, again, temper it using a torch across the spine of the thing. We'll let those colors run out to the edge. And this really didn't take long at all to uh, fairly small blade nice and straight looks pretty good okay so these projects with these old screwdrivers they're sort of like building a knife out of a wrench it's uh the fact that it's an antique tool you repurposed it into something else is really the selling point and uh these things do really feel good in the hand their uh screwdriver handles on these things were designed to be comfortable for a carpenter or machinist to use for hours on end and that was really the only selling point that they had i mean there was no longer battery life or anything like that so it was comfort for the user all right we're going to go through a couple of different grits here and sharpen this thing up the best we can on the uh, belt sander gertie there we go all right and this is a piece of i don't know it's like bird's eye burl or something i'm not sure i think 
Anyway, a subscriber sent it to me some time ago, and we are going to make good use out of it. We are going to replace the handles on this, build some new ones. Because once in a while, you kind of destroy the old handles, getting them off. And they're not hard to do. I'll give you a little rundown on how this works. These screwdrivers are something I've been playing with for quite some time. You get yourself a basic outline. These are big, chunky. Uh, you take one of the scales, and they've got an inward bevel at either end. You mark that out on your wood, and you give it about the same bevel up to your line. And you just make the pencil line go away. Because the thickness of the pencil will make it a little bit too big. And you can match that bevel. And it doesn't matter if these uh, scales are oversized at this point. There you go. You can see those two little raised areas inside the handle. Those are sort of index marks. And you can squeeze this together in the vise, and it'll make an impression. And it'll index that scale right back to where it was every time. You can see the little mark there and there, and the outline of the handle at either end. There we go. So we did that twice. Give ourselves an idea of how much we want to grind off the outside of this. And we'll go ahead and just drive some pins into this guy. So with the index marks on there, we can mark out the pin holes, both sides, and it will line right back up. We're just going to use a handheld screwdriver and just shove some holes right through this thing. And once we get them on the uh, handle here, we'll run the bit all the way through the other block. And we got some stainless steel pins we're going to use on this one. And I'm putting this together dry. We'll rivet them over a little bit, and I'm not going to put any epoxy on them. Or any glue they don't uh, come that way they weren't built that way and I really don't see any need to if a handle breaks we can simply make a new handle and all you have to do is grind this wood right down to the steel all the way around and shape the center the way you want and the wood pretty much lines up with uh, once you grind it down to the steel, it lines up with all facets of that uh, handle. Now this is a little di difficult. I should have probably put this handle together and uh, ground it and all that stuff before I turned it into an ulu. Then I could have taken it back off and had this. But uh, I really wanted to get it forged out. And it really wasn't too bad getting in between the uh, blade and that handle with the slack part of the belt to shape this thing. Wasn't too bad. So we'll give it a nice sanding here. And again, we'll get some wipe on poly on this thing. I've been using this a little bit. Um, it works well. It's, it's um, not going to be in the food. I could have used some sort of food friendly stuff here, but this works pretty well. There you go. All right, guys, there you go. An Ulu from an antique screwdriver. And that's pretty cool. And uh, I think I'm going to give this to the wife and uh, let her try it out and see what she can do with this thing. It's uh, really comfortable in hand, and I love that custom handle that's on there. That's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me through this. I really appreciate it. And I uh, wanted to thank all the subscribers out there. You guys are awesome. The patrons, you guys rock. And uh, if you're thinking about subscribing, go ahead and hit that little notification bell so you can see every time we make a video. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time right here at Big Dog Forge. Take care. And be safe. Bye-bye now.